Hey guys, Hack Exploit here, back again with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Shodan.io or Shodan, the search engine, and how to install it, the search engine, and how to install it on your Linux terminal so you can access it from there as well. So uh, let's get started. Now, for those of you who have never heard of Shodan, uh, Shodan is a very, very powerful search engine that uh, I'm sure if you've watched Mr. Robot, you probably already know. Uh, it's a search engine that exposes vulnerabilities. The problem is that not many people know how it works and how to fully utilize it to its maximum potential. Now, I've been using it for quite a while now and I've actually learned a lot about it. I've read a few books on it and uh, it is extremely powerful. So uh, let me explain to you what it is really because many other YouTubers seem to ignore the fact that, uh, you know, in order for you to utilize it correctly, you need to understand how it works, all right? So Shodan is a search engine that will allow users to search the internet of things, all right? So it searches uh, the, the the network that is created by uh, devices connected to the internet, all right? And then it'll gather information, uh, you know, like the operating system being used or the service that's running on a port, all right? So it in, in essence, what it's performing is it's performing banner grabbing. All right, so it's performing service banner grabbing that will uh, it'll grab all information it, that it can about any devices that is connected to the internet. All right, so it performs full service banner grabbing uh, from servers or any other devices connected to the internet, and it'll you, it'll scan for different ports. Now, one of the most popular ports that it'll, it will scan for is the port 80. All right, other ports that it can scan for are the uh, SSH port, which is port 22. Uh, you have your FTP port, port 21, your Telnet, which is port 23. I don't know if anyone has uh, Telnet running on their server. If they do, uh, they should probably be sent to jail for that because that is just unbelievably insecure or unsecure. All right. So uh, it is used for, for performing banner grabbing and it goes, it searches every device connected to the internet and, you know, it scans for ports and the services and the operating system that is running on each of these devices. All right, so it can be used, you know, to access web servers, network devices and webcams, you know, routers, etc., etc., you know, SCADA systems, uh, a lot of systems that are going to be online, obviously. And, uh, you know, you can take advantage of them. Now, when I say this, I'm going to throw out a bit of caution. Please do not do this, use this information for any illegal purposes. I'm not going to be held responsible. That is my disclaimer to you guys. All right, so let's look at how to use Shodan. All right, let's get started. So I'm, I've just opened up the link uh, on my browser. I'm using Firefox, uh, you know, the standard stuff. Uh, you guys can use whatever browser you want to use. Um, so the website is Shodan.io. Now, I'm sure most of you have actually tried this out, but again, it's really, really, there's no starter guide on how to use it. So hopefully this will help you guys understand how it works a little bit more. All right. So the most, the first thing you want to do, uh, the mo probably the most important thing to get, you know, the maximum effectiveness from this website or this search engine is to create an account. All right. So just go ahead and create an account. You can do it right over there, but I've already created mine. So I don't have to do that. It's really very simple. You can even log in with your Google account directly and you don't have to create a separate account. All right. So it's pretty simple. Uh, the website uh, again tells you the search engine uh, for the webcams for web. So it'll say Shodan is the world's first search engine for the Internet connected devices. So the Internet of Things, really. All right. Um, so, uh, you know, we, we can search for anything in the search bar right here. And, uh, you know, whatever comes to mind. So some of the easiest and the most common searches that most people will do as they saw on Mr. Robot is something like webcams all right now if i search for webcams uh indeed webcams will show up so so let's actually see that right and uh, here we have a webcam uh, in uh, ireland all right so i'm just going to click on one of them and it's going to open up uh, and as you can see we can access get direct access to the webcams right now we have one in italy we have um, another one in sweden live cameras maybe updating every uh you know three to five frames I'm not sure about the frame rate. We have one in the United States, uh, blah, blah, blah. We have a whole collection of webcams here. So it looks like it's a server set up for looking at different webcams from different places. And straight off the bat, you can see how useful Shodan is. 
Now, again, whatever you want to do th to the IP address, you know, that's up to you. We also have one from Iran. Pretty interesting there. Um, now, going back again, that's just one search that we've done for webcams. Let's look at the second one, which is in Cologne in Germany. All right. Um, let's click on it. Let's see what it does give us. I probably should have opened it up uh, on a, in another tab. But I'm just going to give you some, I'm just going to open it up in another tab. Hopefully uh, the search is not, uh, is not loaded. Um, so let that try and open up here. Now, meanwhile, while that's loading up, I think it's very, very important to understand uh, what information that it's, it's given you right now. All right. So we have made a search for webcams and it's going to give you here total results, 293, not bad at all. And then it's going to say the top countries. So we can see uh, United States, Germany, Canada, Russian Federation, Japan. All right. Now it's going to give you the services. All right. So we have the HTTPS, which is port 121. Uh, we have the NAS HTTP, blah, blah, blah. All the services that are running, top organizations. These are the organizations that who are behind or own these webcams. Uh, we have Cyberworks. Uh, Blue Gravity, Comcast, Verizon, blah, blah, blah. And then we have the operating systems being used, which are you know, QTS, Linux 3. Uh, obviously, that's fantastic that it's running Linux. Then the products, we have Apache, Webcam XP. So some people are you know, still using X Windows XP. For what reason? I don't know. You know, God be with them. Uh, and uh, yeah, well, as I was saying, that, that didn't open up. So it's probably um, a locked or it's down. Uh, so let me open this other IP right here and we have a webcam XP5 uh, and apparently this is some sort of live stream and uh, yeah we are getting a live stream of someone's window I believe uh, nothing about the um, well it, it looks to be United States so yeah this is a, a webcam that's currently running and it looks like it's running about two to three frames per second you have different sources let's try source two uh, JavaScript you can also oh, we have another camera another webcam so we have the we can also use uh, motion which is I think a little bit faster in terms of how the frames are rendered uh, but uh, there you go that's how to access webcams using Shodan let's look at some other uh, search search options uh, one of the other popular ones is the traffic signals all right so signals and you can imagine the damage that this can do you know an engine that gives information that you're looking for and uh, whoops, currently right now we only have one. Well, that's a bit scary, uh, but you know what? Let's just go for it. I'm going to try and access it. Um, welcome, blah, blah, blah. All right. So uh, uh, this uh, has nothing to do with what we're looking for. So that search option did not give me anything really. So let's look at some other search options that we can use or um, other examples. So as I said, you can search for ports, which is awesome. Now, some of the uh, search filters that you can use are like you can search for ports. Um, you can search for port. Now, the syntax for this is uh, let me try and zoom in. I'm sure not a lot of you guys can see what's going on. So port. All right. And then use a colon. So these are the this is the string format. So you have to actually make your searches in string format if you're looking for the most results. So let's say we're looking for anything that could be running port. Um, let's try port 22. All right. So let's try that right now, which you, we know port 22 is SSH. All right. So port 22. And immediately we get, uh, we, we know we're correct because uh, it's going to display about 13 million results. Freaking awesome, man. All right. So most of them are in the United States, about 4 million. We have China. Um, and the funny thing is, sorry for interrupting what I was about to say there. Uh, it'll give you the service. So it's running SSH2, OpenSSH 7.2, key type, the SSH RSA. And it gives you the actual key here, <laughs> which is freaking awesome. Now, if you open it up right here, hope I, I know it's probably not going to open up through a direct connection because we have to use the SSH uh, service. Uh, I don't know if I should actually try and connect to it. Um, I was just looking at the, the SSH key. Uh, and you, you can basically have a good idea of what's going on here. Now, there are m plenty of these servers that you can look to uh, exploit. And as you can see, most of them are running OpenSSH, which is awesome. Uh, some are running uh, OpenSSH on Debian. Uh, but mostly you've tried f you'll try to see that it's running on Linux, which is awesome. Nothing running uh, XP being the last one. But uh, again, you know, experimentation and whatever you guys decide to do with this, you know, it's up to you. 
You can also use the port 1723 or, you know, port specific ports that the operating system would use. So client operating systems like, um, you know, 3389. Let's try and use that port. Um, let's see what we get here. This should probably return some you know, remote desktop uh, controls set up by computers. The port 3389 is used by operating system for remote um, remote access, I believe. Oh, there we are. <laughs> we have one that allows us to connect to someone's computer. Let's try that out. Uh, we probably have to connect to the uh, IP address directly. Uh, there's a screenshot as well. Someone did take a screenshot. There we are. So we have Windows 10. Someone is running Windows 10. Um, let's look at what we can get from here. So it's, it is uh, indeed running the port, um, the port 1389. Uh, so let's actually try and access that. Uh, what I'm going to do is 3389, paste that. Whoops, did I copy that? Copy. Uh, 3389, let's see if we can get access there. Whoops, I used a... Let me go back there. Service and available, probably blocked. Um, all right, so let's look at some other services. So that's how to use, you know, a scan for operating systems that could be live. Uh, again, you can use whatever you feel uh, you want to access, uh, but it's pretty, pretty awesome, you know, pretty, pretty awesome, the, the amount of stuff that you can do. Let's look at some other search filters that we can use. Um, we can also search for simple things like routers, all right? So uh, let's see, I was to say Netgear. And you know, this will probably give us access to the uh, the admin panels or the control panels for the different routers. So you can you can see we have the Netgear. Um, let's see what, uh, what, what which one of them we can access here. Let me try and open that one up. Uh, whoops. And there we are. That's the Netgear. Uh, let's try and connect to this one here. All right. Uh, it doesn't look like it has any credentials. Uh, search. Oops, what am I doing? Searching Google for that. My bad. Sorry about that, guys. Let's paste that and go. Uh, probably give us an error uh, given the fact that this is a router. Uh, but let's see what we get. And the reason most of these are giving us access, you might be wondering, is why the hell are routers giving us, uh, you know, access to to the admin panels and that's because they've been set up for remote access which means you know you can control your uh, your router from you know anywhere in the world really as long as you have an internet connection and your router has an in internet connection so here we have uh, you know some cisco uh, devices running cisco which is also awesome as well so there's a lot you can do with shodan and so you can search for a lot of vulnerable devices but the the real beauty of shodan is combining the search filters that we know all right so Let's say we wanted to search uh, for different services like uh, there, there are a lot of search filters. I'm just going to be showing you some of them. Let's say we search for an OS. All right. So OS and we can say um, OS um, and uh, we can say Windows XP. Right. So OS colon Windows XP in string format. Oops, I actually did not use the correct syntax there. I believe it's OS with a capital. I'm not sure. Or we can just search for Windows, probably the XP is used using a colon. There we are. All right. So we can immediately see that uh, uh, there's a lot of services here that are running and they're running different services. So, you know, not a lot of devices, uh, which is always a good thing to see not a lot of people um, running uh, Windows XP. But you can see that the different information shared is the, um, the, the amount of devices connected. So you have your... Yeah, this one looks pretty vulnerable from my point, but we're not going to look at that, um, you know, in depth. So that's one of the search filters. The other one is you can use something like the city. So you can say city and we give the name of the city. So in double quotes, you can specify something like, um, let's say, um, let's search for a city. Let's say Florida. I know that's a state, but uh, let's see what services are running in Florida. Uh, let's see. Sometimes it's obviously going to take a while trying to index it, uh, you know, in, into a specific location. Yeah, there we are. Uh, United States, Florida. Mm, we do have uh, Florida and Argentina, apparently. Mm. And uh, yeah, you, you can really see how you can sort out information in terms of the devices connected to the Internet. And these basically allow you or give you access to search as much as you want. 
Um, you know, there's, uh, we have looked at the search filters like ports, countries, uh, cities, operating systems. We can also try and search something like uh, for services directly. So let's say Apache, Apache uh, service version 2.2.3. If we search for that, this will probably give us servers uh, that are running Apache and more specifically that one. And then, you know, you could probably find exploits for that version. Uh, and try to break through, you know, whatever you want to do. That's that, that's up to you, man. Do whatever you want to do. Uh, it's really up to you. Uh, whoops, error establishing. Uh, it's apparently it's running WordPress. So you can see this is probably the hack, a hackers or a pen testers. Well, a black hat hackers. You know, this is probably their dream come true. Um, the amount of devices that you could get access to here really, really easily. I mean, some of these computers are running ancient pieces of software that have multiple exploits. And I have to come back to Windows XP. You know, that that, that is something that is so exploited. That it's unbelievable that people are still running that. As I said, it should be legal to run. But enough of the jokes about Windows XP. Um, let's look at how to install uh, Shodan on your terminal. So to do that, just go on developers, all right? And it's gonna say leverage the power of Shodan. Uh, you, it's basically using the Shodan API. All right, so get started. All right, that should uh, probably give us that really quickly. And it's gonna give you all these options that you can use uh, to get started with the API. Uh, th these are specific to languages, all right? Now, if I go back here, those are specific for uh, for languages. So if you want to, uh, you know, include the API in your mobile application or something like that, the API is available. Uh, to install it on your your command line, just go to the command line friendly and install the CLI. It's really very very easy to install it. Uh, so it's as it says, it's going to say uh, get uh, Shodan command line interface. Just easy install Shodan. So let's do that right now. Uh, so let's go into my terminal. All right, uh, let it open up. I don't know why it's taking so much time. Uh, there we are. So let me just zoom in. Uh, so easy install Shodan. All right, easy install Shodan. It's going to search and then soon after install it for us. All right, there we are searching for Shodan, downloading Shodan. Um, there we are, it's done. And uh, now we have to get the API key. All right, so it's, it's gonna ask you for your API key. Um, so let's uh, get our API key. And it's gonna give you API key in your account overview. So just copy that, or you can use your, uh, your QR code scanner, but that will probably defeat the purpose. So paste in your API key. Uh, whoops, you have to use the Shodan command, pardon me. So uh, we can actually use the help options here. So Shodan. And I believe it does have have a help uh, menu here. So Shodan help. There we are. So Shodan. We need to set the um, we need to set the initialize it. So Shodan. Uh, I think it's Shodan initialize. So Shodan. Uh, whoops. Initialize and we paste in our API key right here. And if we hit enter. Whoops. Oh 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 yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, I believe I thought it had. Uh, short key. Sorry about that. It's still not giving us that short. Shodan um, initialize and we paste in that uh, API key. Place that back in. Alright, so successfully initialized. I actually believed I thought it had short key because it was giving us the options right here. Uh, but that's weird. Anyway, uh, so we can now go ahead and use Shodan and if you go back to the website, let's go back and as you can see the command overview is pretty pretty simple. You can uh, perform example searches like Shodan, uh, count Microsoft, blah, blah, blah. That's an example search. Uh, so let's try and perform uh, one of the services that it does give us here, which is Shodan host. Uh, yeah, and then it gives us an IP. So let's try that out. So clear. So Shodan host. Uh, did I actually copy that entire, entire command? Host and... Uh, Paste that in there. Yeah, I did. Sorry about that, guys. Apologies, apologies. So Shodan host, and if we search for this, uh, it's gonna automatically use the search engine, which is awesome. There we are. Uh, let's try and find another IP that we can search, or we can search for Shodan, uh, Shodan port uh, 22, you know, 
Hmm. This is weird. I thought the oh they must have changed the command types because the words were shorthand. Uh, all right. So shodan host. Apparently, you have to look. Uh, there's uh, there's it's limited in what you can search for. Uh, so you can check. Uh, oh, so, so this is for exploits. Awesome. So this is uh, mainly targeted at you know searching the specific target that you've got uh, in terms of the IP, which is awesome. So if you had got an IP on Shodan, which we had, if we we could just perform here, if we went back to Shodan, sorry, up there, and we performed a search for something like um, we search for port port 22 you know an ssh port and we searched for it right there there we are it would give us some uh, ssh ports uh, and you would probably get the ip address and then see if you could log in or uh, you know look at whether there's a honey pot which is also uh, also awesome here uh, that it does provide you with that uh, option with the api for the uh, command line uh, interface so that's going to be it for this video guys i hope you found value in this video if you did please leave a like down below if you have any questions or suggestions let me know in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on my social networks if you want uh, any your personal questions you can also hit me up on kick uh, for the latest hacking news and resources and to find the documented version of this video you can check out my website hackersploit.com or h